Hello everybody and welcome to my tutorial for the Eurotruck GPS running on a second screen or iPad. I have two different methods to get the GPS running on an external screen. The first method is using a program called Open Broadcasting System or OBS and Eurotruck running in windowed mode. This option is free but it does have some drawbacks in performance and because OBS can't capture a subregion of the screen in full screen mode then you will need to run in a window. The second option is to use OBS combined with another game capture software called DxTory. Unlike OBS, DxTory can capture a subregion of a screen while Eurotruck is running in full screen. The only downside to this method is that it is more difficult to set up and DxTree costs around $40 US. This is the method I use on my setup and in my videos. First up I will show you how to get the GPS running with just OBS and Eurotruck running in a window. The first thing you will need to do is download OBS, the links are in the description. Once you have downloaded and installed OBS, you will need to set Eurotruck to run in a window. To do this, open Eurotruck and go to the Options menu, then Graphics. Untick the full screen option and pick the resolution that you want to run the window in. After you have done that, you will need to launch OBS. In OBS, you will want to create a new scene for the GPS. To do this, right click under the scenes and click new. Type in the name of the scene, then click sources and add a monitor capture and give it a name. In this window, you want to select subregion and highlight the GPS in Eurotruck. I will now switch to dual monitors to show you. With Eurotruck running, Tick the sub-region, then select region and highlight the Eurotruck GPS in the game. Click on preview stream and this will now show the GPS but it won't be in full screen. Next you will need to open up the source that you created and take note of the resolution. Then go to settings and video and enter the resolution of the sub-region into the base resolution field. Click on OK and then click preview screen again and it should take up all of the window. Once you're up to this point, right click on the preview and click full screen preview. Now you should have the Eurotruck simulator GPS running on your second screen. It should be running smoothly and without any lag. Next up, I will show you the full screen method I use. This method uses a combination of DxTory to capture the GPS in full screen and output it via direct show to OBS. Open both DxTory and OBS. In OBS, you will need to make a new scene like we did in the windowed mode, but this time you will need to add a source from DxTory. In DxTory, go to the Movies tab, then select Direct Show Output. Then select Clipping and set the alignment to Horizontal Right and Vertical Bottom. Next you will need to set the clip size. This is the size of the GPS in the game window, so it will change depending on what resolution you are running in the game. 442 by 370 worked well for me running at 5898 by 1080. Next you will need to set the margin for the bottom right corner. 12 right and 17 bottom worked well for me but you will need to play around with these to get the capture area perfect. 
Next, click on the video source button down the bottom. This will set up the video size outputted to OBS. Again, you'll have to do some fine tuning to get the GPS stretched out to full screen properly. For me, I used a width of 1600 and a height of 1100 in stretch mode. Once you have done that, go back to your scene in OBS and add a new video capture device source. In the device field, select DxTory Video 1. It will automatically use the resolution that you selected in DxTory. You will need to set OBS to also use the same resolution that you selected in DxTory. To do this, go to Settings and then Videos. I also used a resolution downscale of 1.5. Next, you will need to set up a hotkey for DxTory to start the output. I will now switch to my four screens to show you the rest. In OBS, start the preview and click Show Full Screen Preview. Go back into Eurotruck Simulator and press the DX2 hotkey to start the output of the GPS. It should be properly stretched to take up the whole of your second monitor. If it isn't, then you will need to play around with the resolution settings in DX2 and OBS. For me, this was a lot of trial and error until I got it perfect. Now onto the iPad section of this tutorial. This can be used in both windowed and full screen capture methods. To do this, I used a program called iDisplay, which allows me to add my iPad wirelessly as an extra monitor. There is a small app that you will need to install on both your iPad and your desktop. After you install the desktop app, make sure it is set to additional screen by right clicking on the taskbar icon and setting the mode to additional screen. On your iPad, launch the iDisplay app and connect to your desktop computer. Now drag the OBS window over to your iPad screen and start the preview, then put it into full screen mode. As you can see, there is no lag and the GPS is stretched nicely to match the iPad screen. I hope this was easy enough to follow and if you have any questions, please leave a comment and I'll be glad to help.